from today's national day to sports. We've, We've got, got the, the scoop. scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Inside Scoop. I'm Roberto Prado. And I'm Odalis de Cruz. Today is Tuesday, December 10, 2019. It's the second Tuesday of December, only one week until finals and two weeks until Christmas. And before we know it, we are going to say goodbye to the year and start a new decade. Today is National Nobel Prize Day, where we celebrate the people who accomplished getting this special award. The founder was Alfred Nobel, who was a Swedish inventor and businessman. When Nobel died on December 10, 1896, he had 355 patents and started 87 companies. According to his wills, Alfred Nobel's enormous fortune was to be used to establish prizes to award those who have been done their best to benefit humankind in the fields of physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, and peace. The first awards re were received in 1901. This month is National Human Rights Day. On December 10, 1948, the United States General Assembly, aka UDHR, adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This document pro proclaimed that the rights of that every human being is entitled to these human rights exist regardless of race, color, religion, sex, language, opinion, origin, or other status. The UDRHR is the most translated document, document in the world, which is over 500 languages. Do you know that there's a class out there where you can use your voice to sta stand up for what you believe in and possibly might win a trophy? Well, why don't you join Speech and Debate? It's a perfect chance to showcase your beautiful voice and give awareness on something you are passionate about. Also, for people that love doing acting here in Speech, there are even events where you can act out. Also, if you join Speech and Debate, then you might earn a chance to go to one of this year's traveling tournament. This school year, they're going to compete at Harvard University, and guess what? The trip is free. Also, you get to earn community service hours, wherein you get to judge the middle school tournaments, and you will get to meet new people who will become your next new family. So go talk to your counselor and join the class for next semester. Talking about speech this weekend, three of our speech and debate students competed at a tournament in Peoria, Illinois, at Bradley University. Junior Guadalupe Torres was the tournament champion in informative speaking, taking home a first place trophy. Way to go, Guadalupe. You're a true example of commitment, honor, and, this, and the success those can bring. Talking about programs, listen up juniors. If you wish to be part of the e business program, then you're in luck because the class is accepting new members to join for the next semester. If you want to experience a new type of classroom and go compete in many trade shows, then why not join e-business? E-business, also if you join for the next semester, then you will get enrolled in the business college class and get college credit. And there's a spot left where you get to travel to San Francisco during the spring for some days. However, the trip has to be paid. The junior class is looking for hardworking and positive people to come and join. So if you're interested, you can talk to Mr. Gerson in room 433 to learn more about the class and possibly you can become a new member. Moving on this week, K-Club is going to have their meeting this Friday at Starbucks. Go and learn about the events that you can sign up for, your community hours. It, it would be a perfect opportunity to get involved in your community and meet new people. Also, it's a perfect chance to get ahead of your community hours. So come and join now. So don't you have, so don't you have to wait for the last minute to finish your community hours. 
The new math program in Century called Math CEO will be held today. It's a free after-school program led by the faculty and students from UC Irvine. You will be able to learn more about math and get the tips and tricks to study for the ACT and find resources for colleges. It's a weekly meeting in room 325. It's Tuesday from 3.15 p.m. to 4.15 p.m. For more information about the program, you could talk to Ms. Perez in room 5111 or Mr. Pham in room 409. Listen up senior babies, pictures are being accepted for the senior baby picture page and it would just cost $5. Also, seniors who take the professional portraits of sunset photography will get a chance to add, add their own personal quote to the yearbook. If you haven't taken a professional photo with sunset photography yet, make your appointment today. Do you want to be an inspiration and want to help a kid in school or be someone they can look up to? Well, Big Brothers and Big Sisters are looking for more high students to be in Big Brothers or Big Sister for the elementary kids at Kennedy Elementary. This is an amazing way to be helping your community and bring a role model or friend to a kid. The days Kennedy will be needed for high school students are Tuesdays after school from 3.30 to 4.30. If you're interested, you can contact Latina whose email is or you can find Roberto or someone else who's in the program who could give you more details. If you join this program, not only will you help a student out, but it would, al it would also look good in your college application. Also, seniors, it's scholarship month. There's a Santa Ana College promises that are awarding two, two 4,000 scholarships for people who attend Santa Ana College and qualify. And you, to qualify, you mustn't be, have enrolled in 12 college credits and have a GPA of 2.5 and above. There's an ad saying these are Miller Scholarship for 1,500 for students who overcome life challenges and have been involved in their school or local community. To qualify, you must have a GPA of 3.0 or higher. There's, there's many more scholarships listed in the flyer. The application must be submitted electronically to the Santa Ana Public School Foundation and no later than February 14th, 2020. Late applications will not be considered, so make sure you send your application early. And Ms. Sanchez wanted us to remind you that it's not too late to file your financial aid application. The Race to Summit is a competition amongst all California high schools. Our goal is to have a 100% apply before December 16. Here at Century, the competition is between English classes and right now Ms. Rodolfo's fourth period class is the lead with a 94% completion rate. Intention All Girls, the Girls Inc. 2020 externship program is now open for 9th through 11th grade. We are interested in exploring possibilities for a career, building relationships with mentors and receiving a $500 stipend. By completing the program, completion includes 80 hours of professional development workshops scheduled once a month at an Orange County college and 80 hour summer internships at an assigned Orange County business. The application and website is in the poster that you are seeing. And you have any questions, contact the externship coordinator, Catherine. On December 12, 2019 at 7 p.m. in the TCC, there is going to be a performing art concert showcasing the talent here at Century. There will be guitar, choir, band, orchestra, so make sure to come and support. General admission is $5 at the door. For anyone who still has Centurion cards, there's a chance to turn in the, card, turn in the cards in the activities office in the 300 buildings. You would want to turn them in by tomorrow, afternoons, but afternoon December 11th. So you will have a chance to win a new bike that is on display in front of the library. Since the drawing of the Centurion cards, cards for the first semester will take place on Thursday to December 14th during the Inside School broadcast, if you haven't checked out the bike, you should. The bike is donated each semester by Mr. Smith and usually the Path Bike Shop in Tustin. To get those cards turned in ASAP, you have a chance to win the bike or, or other great Century merch. Once again, the drawing will take place on Thursday, December 12th. Also, a new prize was added to the drawing, and it will be to win two general admission tickets to the Rolling, Sla Rolling Loud Music Festival, which is taking place on Saturday and Sunday, December 14 and 15 at the Bank of California Stadium and Expo Exposition Stadium. There th these tickets are currently selling at StubHub for $100 $190 each. So it's an amazing thing that these tickets are being raffled for free. Since the festival is a live event, we want the drawings 
to be fair, so three names for the tickets. So the first name, John, will have first chance to get the use of the ticket. If the student doesn't want to use the tickets, the second name, John, will be able to receive the tickets. If the student doesn't want them, then for the third name, John, will be able to receive the tickets. We ask that if your name is John for the tickets, either come to the TV studios, that's room 331, after the broadcast, or ask your teachers if you can call extension 67131 from the teacher phone to either accept or reject the tickets. The performers will be Chance the Rapper, Future, ASAP, Rocky, Rock, Me Milk, Mill, Young Thug, Little Baby, Playboy Cardi, and many more. Juice World was supposed to play in the festival. Unfortunately, last Sunday, the rapper passed away. Also this Thursday, December 12th, right after school at 3.15 p.m. in the 300 buildings where room 329 is located, the Central Visual and Performing Arts Department and Central Building Trade presents Gallery of the Century, the new and approved art display case and ribbon cutting ceremony. There will be a ribbon cutting by Ms. Keller and Mr. Hollis. A never before seen student art exhibit, light refreshment and raffles, and more. Everyone is welcome. You don't want to miss the event. Come and join us. Also, CTE classes are now open to join for next semester. Here's a video that gives you an insight in what the classes are being offered. Santa Ana Unified offers some wonderful career tech ed or CTE classes is what we call them. We have 36 different pathways at our high schools that are offered during the school day. Another unique element that we have about our career tech ed programs is we offer what we call extended learning programs. Extended learning classes allow students to not take a class during the school day, but take it immediately after school. We provide free transportation from their school to the site to where the CTE Career Tech Ed class is going to be offered. Some of the unique programs that we offer in Career Tech Ed after school are building trades, culinary, automotive. We also have programs in the medical field such as you can do dental or medical back office. Another unique element is we offer an extensive after school internship program. Students in any of the 34 pathways offered in Santa Ana Unified and don't have time within their regular school day can take an after school internship program. Enrollment is open now for our CTE extended learning classes. You can go to www.sausd.us forward slash CTE and click on the registration link that's at that website. Registrations open until the end of December. Moving on to sports, last Saturday, Century's boys and girls basketball teams hosted an Elk Club shootout here in our gym. Here's Giselle Martinez to give you more, to give you the rundown of the event. Hey boys, it's me, Maria, and I'm here at the Elk Club contest here at Century. Uh, let's go check it out. How are you? How's it going? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> The girls, Frosh, and JV teams, basketball teams are having a home game against Rosemead High School. The JV and Varsity girls soccer team will be having an away game against Saddleback. Tomorrow, all levels of boys basketball will be having a home game against Kennedy. So make sure you come and support. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Remember, if you want to be truly wise, live in the present, plan for the future, and profit from the past. Bye. Bye. <laughs>